Úsalo entonces. Ya está bueno, pero si necesitamos cortar el otro, por favor. Ya. This type of rubber gasket is going to be very similar on the Jeep uh, Cherokee of right now. But this one, I already looked at the inside. It's a little bit very accessible, a lot easier. C10 pickups, Fords, all that kind of stuff. Similar, similar concept. Go ahead and take our pattern here in the inside and we will finish our thing a little bit. There. There. This guy right here. About it, man. Let's go ahead and uh, trim a little bit of this off all the way around with a lot of finesse, a lot of quality cut. Do here, one click like that, well, like that. I'll do this. We're gonna finish cutting our pattern right here, right now. Okay. One click and no more. And because it's one click, it doesn't allow you to go deeper and cut more rubber accidentally. I'm from an era, I'm from an era that we did a bunch of these things and we didn't have internet or nothing, it just came natural to us to do these kind of things. So, sliver off uh, all the edge, nothing is going to happen as far as devaluing the uh, vehicle's worth or anything. It's just, if you do it with a lot of quality to cut, nobody will see it. And it's just making room for your product window film to go in there and uh, have no problems. Dirt, capolite, none of that shit. This one of the very first times you're gonna see me with a blade. It's a stainless steel blade. Um, I don't use carbon anymore. I left those behind a long time ago. Okay, so we're pretty much done. You're gonna need to use one of these blades because this one does have years of accumulated dirt, snot, farts, bullshit, everything, you know. Wanna take it all off. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna introduce a new little piece of something just for this job, which is this guy right here. This guy right here. So I can do this just cleaning in general. That's all it is. There you go. 
if I do my all-in-one it's just gonna mess up the uh, the strip on the front and I don't want that this is sacrificial just for this so so the next step now that we're gonna do is just do the pre-cut and slap on it'll go like real quick right thing here And I'm going to go ahead and uh, align it. And you can see right here, before your eyes, that there's going to be no gap. There's gap, and then there's no gap there. Okay, so I'm going to do that right there. Leave it momentarily. Here's my trusty friend. Hold them. Just like commercial tinning I've showed you before, do this approximation cut like that. That way you have no creases or nothing, and then we're gonna, let me see, a little bit more. Just a tad more. Okay, there you go. See right there, he's like perfectly, like right there, with no gap of light or nothing. He's, uh-huh, sneaky old dirty, eh? Yeah, pretty much. All the way to the edge. I'm going to round that little thing right there. That's about it. Mm -hmm. Top here. All the way to the edge there. And then from the bottom up. Just like that. This and commercial tending and all that kind of stuff uses all the same kind of trickery, you know? Pretty much. Remove this guy out of there. As I mentioned, we are going to go ahead and do this thing right here. The rounding. And that'll be that. Pick up your little clusters of stuff. Put this guy here momentarily. As I mentioned, we're going to use this as a cleaner. So check this out, okay? This is a cleaner. Check this out. There, there, there's just a lot of little tricks, man, that, you know, if you do a squeegee or this or that, squeegee is just going to throw water in there and this blade cuts the water down, not pushes it more into the slot, which is going to allow this thing to, to throw a lot of your uh, dirt from up there down here. A lot of trickery for sure okay again I'm gonna do this real quick here on the side there 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 okay and that's it now we're gonna use our pattern peel it install it Just like mobile tinning, pretty much. Because we're wetting the pattern, I'm not going to wet the window at all for a lot of reasons. I don't want any water to dislodge or anything, so. So having said that, make sure that your pattern is very saturated with um, with water, bottom loaded, if you will, this right here. Do that, do that right there, all the way to the edge. And hold them down there. There he is. We're gonna do this very slowly. Before your eyes, you have this install. Yeah. I'm gonna use 
this guy right here just to begin to anchor. Guy. By doing this, what I'm doing, you're cutting all the water source from the top and there will be no more water bullshit coming from the top. This guy right here to the side. All the way in. He's tucked all the way in. And use whatever pressure you guys need to use. Do that like that. I'm pushing them down away from because if I do this and I shove water in there, it's gonna hit the wall and come back with a bunch of shit that was in there that I haven't disturbed and I don't want to disturb it. That's that's the main, 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 main thing that don't disturb any of the crap that's in this three decade old gasket and you will win every fucking time so there he is pretty much do this deal right here cut the water sideways out like that and I really wish you guys had um, you know a way to transport yourselves here and watch in person just how clean and uh, the install pretty much I guess when you saw it me laying it you knew that it was gonna be like don't touch anything delivery is super important kind of like bottom loaded because after you've done a lot of great things if you do this bullshit and touch the film everywhere and put it on you're gonna leave a lot of your dermis because we as film applicators think that by licking our fingers, you pretty much cured all the BS dirt from uh, application. I just want you to know that we have a lot of dermis that is activated with water. Every time we have installation, cleaning, all that kind of stuff, our dermis becomes soft and we begin to shed dermis. So even if we lick finger, when we put our film here, because it got a little bit of adhesive, removes some of the dermis from our moist skin and leave it on the and you think it's dust from the it's not dust it's your fucking skin it's called dermis so don't touch it do it bottom loading like i did and you'll have all this success all day long guys i appreciate it i mean i'm doing it slow you can do it a little bit faster uh just for the video reason stuff like that but pretty much you can do it in limo this that no gap of light no gap of light okay it was shoved right here it was like shoved a little bit more that way so we're covered we're good guys have a great day gopro stop recording